what's up y'all welcome back to the channel for today's video we had well maybe not for today's video well not for this video you know what i mean what's going on in this video we're going to be doing the tls bimbo big break caliber bit from dc5 creations the homie schaefer get looked out for me gave me a deal not really a deal but it was in my face i couldn't refuse so before we get into the nitty gritty of the big break kit we have to remove the wheels take out the uh spindle itself because we are replacing wheel bearings and wheel studs. We're going extended wheel studs and we're going with the NTK uh, wheel bearings, which is basically like, a, like OEM replacement of a wheel bearing, I believe. It's I think they manufacture the same bearing in Japan of the OEM and NTK or some, some shit. Like, I don't know, bro. But that's what we got going on for today. Hopefully, you know, today, as in today, as I'm filming, we can get the extended wheel studs on and the new bearings uh, pressed in. Probably not, though, because Randy's going to end up probably doing it and he gets off of work mad late. So, I don't know. But this whole entire video is we're going to be doing the big brake kit install. So, let's get it. Let's get it. So what we have to remove in order to get the whole spindle off, we gotta remove the axle nut, the two shock bolts. We got this bolt right there, two on top to remove, and then you have your tie rod bolt right there, two shock bolts, one, no you can't see it, but one there and one on the bottom, and then the whole spindle should come out, theoretically. All right. So we got to Rainey's house uh, yesterday uh, after the gym. I dropped off my spindles and my uh, extended ball top balls. <laughs> Wheel studs, extended wheel studs, and wheel bearings. So now we pull up the Randy's and we're gonna swap, get all that stuff swapped over, baby. Let's get it. So this is everything that I brought over yesterday so we can get done today. Spindles, wheel studs, wheel bearings, you know the vibes. Horrible conditions that we bind and we put inside the minds of our children. Uh, can't you see we in despair? Look around, we got crime everywhere But you still sell false hope mm -hmm, Cause you just don't care no, you just don't All right, so if you've never done this before All you gotta do is do what Randy did Get a long ass bolt, like a crank bolt You don't have to Yeah, you don't have to It's just easier, I guess you Hammer that jaw on out A long bolt works Brick dust, heat shield is removed Now, the problem with removing it is You're gonna have a lot of heat issues When it comes to your lower bar joint but that's why you use foil tape. When you use foil tape, it prevents your wall joint from wearing out faster. Wall joint, son. I'm from Brooklyn, bitch. You ain't understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Don't mind, man. I still don't feel that comfy in my own skin. It's hard to find yourself worth as a broken kid. These frames never held images of my own kin. That's why I rap sheet the only place we fit it in. Yeah, you can go to court or you go on that court. You do nine to five, or you go play a sport. Can't represent the house if you out on that field. If you forget your place, you might turn to Emmett Till. Watch him legislate to execute my brothers that they kill. Got me talking about my problems as a way for me to heal. I went looking for a Beverly when I went to the hills, but I came back with a diamond and a couple dollar bills. Now they got me saying, Oh yeah, oh yeah, don't you see we in despair? Got crime everywhere, dark clouds in the air. If you don't know the game, then they ain't playing fair. Still selling false hope to you because they don't care. They don't I remember being so naive ba Back when life was compared to good weather and palm trees Back in those days you were everything that I thought that I need But then along came a time when you crushed my dreams You really played play me for a fool when you made me believe Alright, so here we have extended wheel studs finally With brand new wheel bearings, these are NTK wheel bearings So these are like closest to OEM as possible um, so I hope I should be good I know when it comes to buying rear hub assemblies buy OEM always buy OEM for the rear buy OEM if you don't buy OEM what the hell is going on 
your damn wheel gonna fly off and you gonna be crying boo boo the damn fool you feel me what the hell is that, is that piss now i can't install these right now because i'm waiting on my girlfriend to come back from velocity shop she uh, was doing work down there so i told her to stop by velocity shop for me i got some i picked up some hard race roll 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 get your roll on i picked up some roll center correction kit from hard race for uh the ball joint so i come with the ball joint and the uh adapter spacer piece bracket thing that i need in order to run everything. So I'm gonna have new ball joints, I got new extended wheel studs, new wheel bearing, and from there all I would need to do is just put everything back together and my car should be on the ground. I got the new sway bar on, I haven't even drove the car yet. I just gotta buy new outer tie rods because these things are bad, the inners are bad too because that indicates that it's a bad inner tie rod, but for now, um, I'm probably just gonna replace the outers and then whenever I have money, I'll buy the inners and Yeah, but this right here This is bad, bro This is boots torn garbage just garbage are out baby girl finally came home we got the new ones right here check this out bro check this out bruh bruh look oh man i can't wait dog fire dumb fire son this is dumb fire So it's time to go from ashy to classy. You hear? So this is the OEM 8th Gen uh, Brake Master Cylinder and this is the TL Type S Brake Master Cylinder. You can see the difference in the body. I think I should tell you on here what size diameter this is. Um, I guess I don't. quick intermission I probably won't be able to finish up the whole brake stuff today well I will but I'm not gonna put my car back together knowing that my damn tie rods look like this so like um, I'm gonna probably end up ordering some OEM um, tie rods so I'll put, spin the back on ball joint back on all this stuff back on but I won't be able to lower the car down until I get the new tie rod so car might be in the air for a couple more days it's all good wood in the hood uh, right now I gotta shoot over to Randy's job drop off some those extended wheel studs you guys seen these are for Fred um, so drop that off at to Randy's for Fred so Frank get this shit done for his all-wheel drive stuff and then we'll probably come back home and put the spinners on and all that stuff so clean up a little bit and let's shoot over to Fred's I mean Randy's So that is going to wrap it up for this video. I didn't put the big brake kit on. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't even know what the hell I'm going to title this video, but we could do better. All right. My last video got 6,000 views. I nearly almost had a fucking heart attack. We can do better, dog. Where's all my, where, are, wh what am I doing wrong? Please tell me. Let, please tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me, please. <laughs> I fell off. But I hope you guys enjoyed whatever monstrosity this video was. Um, I ordered, well, I'm going to order tomorrow the inner tie rods, the outer tie rods, and then I probably might as well just order the front lower control arm bushings and just do every, uh, bro. Why is this car shit so expensive? Oh my god, I'm crying on the inside. Gaming channel, go subscribe. Zosh MFG merch, link down below. But that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, leave a like on the video. If you not enjoyed, leave a dislike on the video. All in all, bro, I love you, but I don't give a fuck. I appreciate it. Catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Peace.